How's it going everyone? Chris here with Simply Nuck. A couple of months ago, Intel made a really big announcement that they're no longer making Nucks. All right, that's a monumental announcement in the mini PC world. So we made a video where we talked about who was gonna be taking over for them, which is ASUS. I sat down with our CEO, Aaron Rossell, and talked through all the details that we had at the time. This is a follow-up video to that, where we're gonna kind of sort out where ASUS is at in the transition. So I'm gonna bring in our CMO, John Dethridge, to talk through all the nitty gritty details and find out exactly what's happening. But before I do that, if you enjoy these videos, please click, click the like button, click subscribe, so that you get all the NUC news that we send out, all our product launches, and you get some mini PC support videos that we send out every Friday, plus more. All right, so without further ado, I'm gonna bring in John Dethridge. So welcome, JD. Glad to have you here to talk about ASUS and Intel. Thanks, Chris. So I guess my first question, and it's probably a question on a lot of people's minds, is how is the transition from Intel to ASUS going? I would say it's gonna take a little while. It's not a light switch that you can just flip on and have it instantaneously move over, but it's going probably about as smoothly as it could go. It's just a very complex thing. There are so many SKUs, so many product families. So given the complexity, I would say it's going fairly smooth. Yeah, a lot of moving parts, I would imagine. Absolutely. That kind of leads into my next question is, with the transition happening, how soon is ASUS fully taking over from Intel? And then when can people start expecting to be able to purchase NUX from ASUS? Yeah, so as of Friday, September 1st, you can only order from ASUS. Okay. And so Intel basically said last orders up through the end of August, as of September 1st, your orders all need to go through ASUS. In reality, most people are ordering from distributors. Uh, they're just ordering the ASUS SKU from distributor versus the Intel SKU. Intel will continue shipping on the orders that um, you ordered from them before September 1st throughout the month of September. Could you go to Intel's website right now and order a NUC or is that, is it completely shut down? Yeah, um, you never really could order oh, right. from <laughs> Intel's website. Right. Intel will tell you where you could go order and I think they're gonna shut that, um, what they call their shop site down. That's a really good question yeah. because it'll be up to ASUS to tell people where to go to order versus having Intel do that. Uh, I would suspect that shop site will be shutting down fairly soon if it's not already shut down. ASUS will not be shipping everything right away. I just wanna make sure that's clear as well. Yeah. Our understanding is some SKUs will start shipping on the 4th of September, but then mid-September, additional SKUs will start shipping. End of September, more SKUs. Early October, mid-October, you kind of get the idea. They're kind of bringing on more and more SKUs over time. Are they going to eventually offer everything that Intel made or are they is there a cutoff point and there's going to be a little bit more limited yeah. than what Intel was offering? I, I can only tell you what I know. So NUC 11, Atlas Canyon, so those are your Celeron and Pentium SKUs, will be supported by ASUS. Okay. You go to NUC 12, you get your 4x4 called Wall Street Canyon. Not all Wall Street Canyon SKUs will ship, but a lot of them will. And then you kind of go into the extreme area, you got Dragon Canyon and Dragon Canyon Pro. I kind of classify that as one family. So yeah. that's the, the, you know, the fourth one. And then, no, it's the third one. And so then with NUC 13, which is based on 13th gen Intel processors, mm -hmm. right? You've got two. You've got the 4x4 Arena Canyon. Most of those SKUs will be shipping from ASUS. And then you've got the Extreme Raptor Canyon, which is kind of for gaming, workstation, you know, high-end content creator type stuff, right? So mm -hmm. those are kind of the five basic families. We know those for sure. We're asking about some of the other ones that people might be thinking about, maybe some of the older generations, maybe some of the elements, things like that. Yeah. They're saying they're considering those, but we haven't seen a commit like on a piece of paper saying, we support these SKUs, yeah. right? I think they're kind of collecting demand right now from various partners yeah. uh, uh, that Intel had to figure out exactly which additional ones they're gonna support. But you at least know five families for sure that you'll be able to get moving forward from your distributor through ASUS versus through Intel. Are we able to talk about roadmap at all? Things that are gonna follow on from current products? Because I know that Intel obviously, they had stuff in the works. So a little tricky. Yeah. Um, we had a non-disclosure agreement in place with Intel. We, we do with ASUS as well. And so 
Um, I don't want to call out code names mm -hmm. um, on this um, on this particular video here, um, but I will say kind of in the terms of follow on, right? So um, Asus is telling us there'll be a follow on to a product that um, was out there called Chaco Canyon. Okay. So that's a Celeron based rugged unit. It's fanless. It's IP50. It's got some cool industrial type features on it. So. Yeah. The follow-on to Chaco Canyon, they're telling us, will start shipping in Q1 of 2024. Okay. Okay. Arena Canyon, that that four by four, you know, pretty general purpose uh, NUC that's going to be used everywhere. Mm -hmm. The follow-on to Arena Canyon, Asus is telling us they will support. Okay. Okay. And then it gets a little tricky here because there was a product called Serpent Canyon that had the Intel graphics on it. Mm -hmm. It was an enthusiast SKU. Um, that got discontinued. Okay. Asus is not supporting that. Okay. But Asus is telling us they will support the successor to Serpent Canyon. Okay. And so that will be coming out sometime in the first half of next year. So for sure, when it comes to roadmap, we know there'll be some successors there. So without kind of putting code names or details out there, I think it's safe to you know tell everybody they should expect those coming out from ASUS. So I poked around on their website a little bit before the video just to see what they were offering right now. And I saw that they were offering the NUC 12 Extreme Elements. And you talked a little bit about how they haven't committed to offering elements. Do you think that sometime in the future they will just sell elements separate? Yeah, so elements are a little tricky because you have the H elements and then the U elements. Yeah. So the H elements go into the larger extreme machines. They're kind of like a motherboard cartridge that plugs into a PCI slot mm -hmm. and a chassis, yeah. right? Then you got the U elements that are more like a compute card. So they got the processor, memory, Wi-Fi, things like that, mm -hmm. all in this little card that, that then slots into a proprietary type connector. Yeah. And so the one you're seeing on Asus's side is an H element. It's that extreme element that you mm -hmm. called out. I think it's called Eden Bay. Yeah. And that's what goes into Dragon Canyon. So you would not have a Dragon Canyon or a Dragon Canyon Pro, which I talked about just a minute ago, if you didn't have that H element, okay? So that's kind of Asus saying, we're committed to these workstations and gaming machines. And I think people know Asus is into gaming. They've got Republic of Gamers and they've kind of got a mindset that says, these are cool machines. We think they're very cool as well. <laughs> now the U elements jury is still out. So we're getting a lot of questions from them along the lines of how much demand do you have for these and give us your forecast on these. And I think they're kind of feeling out just how popular yeah. those U elements, along with uh, products like Austin Beach mm -hmm. and Fort Beach. We've got our own OPS module that takes elements, right? Yeah. U elements, I should say. And I think the jury's still out there. We, we haven't seen anything from them saying, here's the timing when you can give orders, here's the timing when we're gonna ship. Yeah. They've told us though, they're considering them. That's about all I know today, okay. as far as the U elements are concerned. So then it's a maybe. You, <laughs> Uh, I, would, I would agree with you, <laughs> yes. A strong maybe. Yeah. Okay. And so I was, as I was reading about this topic, I didn't realize that ASUS's agreement with Intel was non-exclusive, meaning that someone else could come in and also start manufacturing NUX as well, if, if they were so inclined. Do you see that as a possibility or something that maybe a bigger company is going to do? Or do you think ASUS has it and then smaller companies are just going to make their own NUX? Yeah, we noticed that um, when the announcement went out a couple months ago, kind of that one little area that said, this is a non-exclusive license. I think a few other people picked up on it. The yeah. press picked up on it a little bit as well. So I think that's um, Intel's strategy of being able to keep the foot in the door to expand out mm -hmm. if they need to. I, I can't say I see any signs right now that that would happen but the fact that it is not exclusive keeps the door open. Yeah. I'm not hearing anything, I'm not sure of anything, um, but I would say it's a possibility at, at best, right? So really, really wouldn't have any more information than the speculation that anyone else might have on that topic. Okay, so it's another strong maybe. Or just definite a maybe. Definite maybe. Definite maybe. <laughs> not even a definite maybe, yeah. <laughs> a possible maybe. It's a maybe maybe <laughs> yeah. on whether anyone else comes in. That's fascinating to me, all this talk about uh, Asus and Intel. So uh, thank you very much for joining me, JD. You bet. And uh, we'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.